So I'm back again uh, with an update video on these uh, Afghan pines that I grew from seed. Um, and here's how they're uh, looking. So some of them grew more than other others. I'm not exactly sure why. But if you look at some of these ones over here, they've already got um, a lot of branching going on. Um, luckily, I'm here in uh, Northern California, so I can just leave them outside uh, year round. We don't freeze here. There's uh, plenty of rain too in uh, the wintertime, Mediterranean climate. So this one's pretty large now. I would say that's over a foot tall. Um, I have really large hands, so it doesn't make for good scale, um, but it's definitely nice and uh, very nice size so far. So that's almost a year old, but not quite. Then uh, over here, I've got more. These are single leaf pinion pines. Um, these are more Afghan pines. So here you can see, um, if you look here, these green needles, these are adult needles starting to pump out. You can see the, the darker green coming out of the blue. So that's what the adult needles look like. Um, and by the time that next fall rolls around, I'm sure it'll have plenty of adult needles on it. And uh, here I've got some Arizona Cypress as well. Um, and some uh, pinion pines. These are the Pinus edulis. Uh, so that's like the, um, the, what would it be? New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado species. And then this kind of pinion pine, this is called the single leaf pinion pine because it's got one needle per group. Um, while the other pinion pines have two needles per bundle. Um, so the, this uh, pinion pine here, this is more drought tolerant than the one from uh, New Mexico and uh, Colorado, but I can explain that in a different video. Uh, but anyway, with these Afghan pines, I'm gonna be planting some of them um, after the freezes stop um, on my planting site, which is about 300 miles away in uh, Northern Nevada. Um, and I'm hoping that um, I have good luck with these um, these seedlings, uh, testing the cold hardiness out there. Uh, thank you for watching.